While Think Books have been the new kids on the block, they have quickly managed to attract followers and become one of the popular ones. That was to be expected, however, as when Lenovo sets its sights on a market, they don't stop until they are number one. This is what is happening with the Think Book lineup right now, as Lenovo is pumping a lot of resources to make them as best as they can be and to dominate the business notebooks with good looks market. The Gen 2 returns with the same premium build quality and great hardware choices, which made it famous in the first place. Add to that an arsenal of features, and you get a compact powerhouse that can rival the best. Today we are presenting you with Laptop Media's top 5 picks about the Lenovo ThinkBook 13S Gen 2. As with the previous ThinkBook 13S, the Gen 2 gets the same all-aluminum body, which put it on the map in the first place. It is quite durable with little to no flex from the chassis and the lid, especially when you consider the weight and height, sitting at 1.26 kg and 14.9 mm, respectively, which is thinner than the Gen 1 device. The design itself is also quite good, and it fits the business setting that the device is suited towards. The two-tone gray finish on the lid adds a bit of flair, and the minimal branding makes it look sleek and expensive. The lid doesn't open with a single hand at all. Due to the stiff hinges, however, it houses some goodies such as the 720p webcam and the Think shutter, which opens and closes very smoothly, something that is rarely the case in laptops. The keyboard is on a good level with its clicky feedback, but short key travel, due to the low profile nature of the device. It also has a backlight. Next to it, sits the fingerprint reader, which is embedded inside the power button. The touchpad is a tad smaller, due to the form factor of the laptop, however, it has a mylar surface, which offers smooth gliding and tracking. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. The Lenovo ThinkBook 13S Gen 2 uses a 13.3-inch WQHD Plus IPS panel with a 16:10 aspect ratio. The display has comfortable viewing angles, a maximum brightness of 361 nits, and a contrast ratio of 1650 to 1. The color coverage is really good, sitting at 97% of the sRGB color gamut. The color accuracy is also spectacular, even with the factory settings, where we get a delta E value of 1.7. Once we apply our design and gaming profile, the delta E value goes even lower to 1.0, which is dead center on the professional standard. Here you can compare the results of the test with both the factory settings, left, and with our design and gaming profile applied, right. The laptop comes with a 56 watt hours 4 cell battery unit. It lasts for 11 hours and 20 minutes of web browsing, and 9 hours and 29 minutes of video playback. The way we perform our tests is with the Windows Better Performance setting turned on, screen brightness adjusted to 120 nits, and all other programs turned off except for the one we are testing the notebook with. The laptop has a pretty good cooling solution, despite its tiny 13.3-inch form factor. The setup consists of one wide heat pipe, which connects to two heat sinks on its opposite ends, which are in turn connected to two fans of different sizes. The unit that we reviewed had the Core i5-1135G7, which is a 15W CPU. In our CPU stress test, the processor quickly increased its clock speed to a frequency of 3.64 GHz and spiked to a temperature of 91 degrees Celsius. After that, it maintained a slightly lower frequency but had an increase in temperature. In the final stages of our stress test, the CPU had a frequency of 2.20 GHz, while sitting at a temperature of 64 degrees Celsius. Comfort during full load the outside temperature was okay, measuring at 41.1 degrees Celsius. The hotspot of the laptop was around the I, O, and 9 keys. The device, due to its small size, comes with soldered RAM. This essentially makes it, so that you're stuck with whatever you pre-configure the laptop with. At least the RAM works in dual-channel mode, so you get better performance. Fortunately, the storage is expandable through one M.2 PCIe X4 slot. Here is our detailed teardown video, which shows you exactly what to do, in order to access the M.2 slot for upgrades, or just general maintenance and cleaning of the internals.